Let's decide country music's best living performer by eliminating the others one at a time. This is certified in Stephanie Quayle. You are up first. <laughs> Please eliminate one artist from the board. Bye bye, Brad Paisley. It's not oh. personal, but it's personal because you didn't like my Prius, so I sold it. Oh, that is harsh. I'm harsh. not gonna block that, but I wanted to. I'm uh, not saying I agree with you, but I'm saving. I'm saving my block for elsewhere. Yeah, fair enough. Bye -bye, Brad. Patrick Thomas, you're up next. Go ahead. Oh, I'm on the spot. Ah. Um. Mm, bye bye, Miranda. What? Oh. Oh. You blocking me now? What? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. What happens That's if they both idea. block me? Does that count? That means that you lost great. two turns. I, I would have to go no. to an instant replay, but I think Stephanie got her block up a hair right. before Corinna did. Bye bye, Miranda. What? Bye. Oh. Oh. There you go. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 So Waste of a block. Counts at a time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I Miranda have a block. Lambert. Still. Okay. Yeah. Corinna keeps okay. her block. Stephanie has used hers. Miranda Lambert stays on the board. Patrick Thomas's turn gets skipped, and we go to Corinna. That's right. I am going to say bye bye, Jason Aldean. You would go early. Ah, uh, uh, come on, y'all. I right, listen. Listen, listen. When we're talking about the greatest of all time. No, like, the greatest living. Well, but all okay. of them are alive. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, they just are alive. That's true. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. No block. Just, anyway. Back to you, Steph. What do you got? Do I get to go again or did I lose my turn? No, let's go. Let's go one more lightning round real quick. Okay. Stephanie Quayle, go for it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Luke Brown. I, know. I love you, Luke. And what I are you doing? You went, but you never went fishing with me. Dick, you're making this personal. That's not yeah. how it's supposed to go. It's personal. So are you going to block me or what? No, I'm not going to block you. That's fine. You? No. Okay. No. okay. Stephanie settling old scores. Patrick, try not to get blocked this time. Go ahead. Trying not to get blocked, I'm gonna. Oh, God, this is so hard. Eric Church. <gasps> oh, Eric, I'm sorry. What? With apologies to the chief, I'm gonna. I'm gonna yeah. let that stay. I'm gonna, okay. Oh, that's. I just. Yeah. <laughs> I hope okay. he doesn't okay. see this. <laughs> Eleven to this go, Corinna. This is getting really tough. Uh huh. I'm going to say bye bye, Lainey Wilson. <gasps> no! Oh, come on. All right, okay. Oh, she's you new! Uh, but she's so freaking good, Lainey. I love you. I do love Lainey, but maybe not enough to use a block, no. Greatest of all time. Maybe in a few. I know, I know. I'm losing my light. Sorry about that. I got so animated. I love Lainey. I know. Stephanie's like, in a really. It hurts. You're in a really nice position, Stephanie, in that since you already used your block, you can act like you're going to block everybody on the board. <laughs> but you can't. You've already done one? it. Just one. See? <laughs> now I'm like How do you feel about that everybody. block now? Yeah. You're going to block. <laughs> Having regrets for everybody. Okay. All right. Ten I left. Thought. We definitely had some heavy hitters go there. Uh mm -hmm. I'm going to explain the rules a little further in just a, a second here. But, Patrick, big surprises. Anybody that you were surprised to see go? I mean, look, Luke Bryan does not get enough credit for how entertaining that show is. A lot of people, even people who are kind of, you know, not the biggest fans, they all go, oh, I don't know. I guess I'll go to Luke Bryan's show. And they stand there and they dance like fools for the entire thing because it's an incredible experience. It is every time. But I don't disagree. I mean, it's not about it's not about the order. It's about who's the last one. So I had to save my block because I, I don't. I, uh, yeah, you got some other ones on the board. Okay, I get it. I get okay. it. Uh, Stephanie, you, you your first pick was Brad Paisley, and like Patrick said, it did sound a little personal. Uh, have you interacted with Brad in your career? Yeah, yeah, I have. I have actually. I've been okay. on premise. I've been on premise, and at that time, I drove my Prius to the premise. And uh, yeah, he had he had some commentary. Mm -hmm. so I said, he okay, did. okay. 
Mr. Fancy Pants. That's personal. That is personal. Brad's show is excellent. The especially Brad changed the game with the the way screens are used in concerts, especially in country. He was one of the first people to use really a lot of audio visual and and cool stuff in his shows. So a sentimental pick. Listen, anytime yeah. Brad wants to have a conversation, I'm here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fair enough. At Stephanie Quayle on social media, slide into her DMs, Brad. <laughs> You can get her. You can find her. All right. <laughs> ten, ten artists still on the board. Uh, Patrick and Corinna have their blocks remaining, and I'm going to explain the rules here quickly. We started with 15 artists, and this was a list that was aggregated using each of our panelists' top 10 to 15 live artists. Mm-hmm. We'll continue to go around the room, eliminating and debating, and to, each panelist will get one block. It means you can stop someone from eliminating an artist. However, when that happens, that panelist loses his or her turn and is forbidden from selecting that artist again, everyone loses their block when there are just two artists left on their board, and at that point, all blocks are also lifted. If there's an artist remaining that's blocked, that person can choose. Right. All right. That's a lot. We'll get to know our panelists a little bit better as we go along here. I'm so nervous. I didn't get any of that, but let's just do it. Right. Well, I... I sent you the rules in advance, Corinna. So hopefully yeah, you were you, supposed to read them, Corinna. Listen, I didn't read the rules. Uh, I didn't read the rules, but I went Neither hard. Did I. No one did. <laughs> okay, I I didn't realize that it was a one time block only. But listen, mm-hmm. I stand by Miranda. I did read the rules, and I was willing to shed my one block for Miranda. Okay, love you. Fair. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Up for up next, Stephanie Quayle, singer, songwriter, cowboy, mental health advocate, <laughs> podcast host now with the On the Edge podcast, launching Love as a, a companion to her powerful new album, On the Edge. Real quick, Stephanie, I mean, this is a, a really powerful concept for an album. Without making us cry, can you kind of explain uh, what this album Ooh. is all about for you? Oh, oh, dang. You want me to do that now? Yes, uh, rough, well, probably. Well, it's... <laughs> It's this album is my prequel to a part of my life that I never thought I'd be able to share in song. Like I thought one day maybe there would be a book, but never an album and now a podcast to go with it. It's it's a story of redemption, but uh I was in a relationship with a guy. I was raising his daughter with him. I thought I was going to marry him, build a life with him. I was building a life with him. He died in a plane crash on a Wednesday. And on Sunday I discovered the other women that were a part of his current life at the memorial service. And that is the album. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, Patrick. It's not dog dish, my dear. It's uh we went we went full like jugular. We need to drink it's whiskey good. and talk about this. It's good. I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. But what's cool about the podcast is we're able to kind of break down each song as a as a you know, yeah, as we go through it. So yeah. Not light it, material. <laughs> who are you going to serve up some pain for right now? Who are you going to oh, eliminate wait, next? It's my turn again? Yeah, this is you. We're focused on you. You all are going to get mad. Morgan Wallen. Oh. Whoa! Okay. I mean... Center square. <laughs> Center wow. square goes. Now, I've got some darlings left on the board. No shade to Morgan. I have a lot of respect for Morgan and having every song on the charts from one to a hundred, like go on with your bad self, but I have to take them off the list. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. It's a good live show. Is it one of the, is it the best? No, I can't say that. So I can't use my block. There's, there's just a few names on this list when I think of like, of all mm-hmm. time. So. Okay. You know, I'm clearly taking the heavy hits here. I see that. <laughs> we'll whittle it down one more. Patrick, who do you have uh, off the board next? Oh, wait, I'm not next. Corinna's. Oh, no, it is me. I am next. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, then I'm going to be that guy, and I'm going to take straight off the board. What? It happens. And you have to do it. Listen. We Whoa. all know it, we we all know we don't love George for his f- live show. Like it's a good show. That's I've seen it true. twenty times, that's but that's not, not that's not what it is. Nope, 
not the best There's ever. No we all in that sentence. That is a singular man, Patrick, saying that the I, goat is not. I the love best. George Strait. I have seen George Strait live 15 or 20 times. It's amazing every time, but it's not. I don't leave there going, that was the best show I've ever seen. No. No. And I've never thought that. I can appreciate that. I leave I there that. saying, I love George Strait, and those songs are amazing, and I would go see that again tomorrow. But okay. the best? Hold on, though. Hold on, because I don't get any of my blocks back. But mm -hmm. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Patricio, how many times have you seen Not the Greatest Show? Uh, well, yeah, but I've seen these. I've seen everybody on this list at least 10 times. So, yeah, you know. Gonna, didn't you just say George was 20 shows? Oh, at least 20, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's, there's people left on this list. I've seen more than that, so. Oh, you <laughs> can't get me on this one. Love you. Is he touring at the level that the others are touring right now? I think right that's now? an important that's question. True. That's true. Okay, okay. Yeah. That, he's still doing it, though. And he's still... And, and, and we're getting we're getting to to a phase here where it's it's, it's there's no good names to take off this list. So that's, that's why true. I'm not not using my block. You're very for, reasonable uh, and very yeah. sensitive in this game. I'm sweating. Corinna, do you want to take a stab next? Yeah. Oh boy. Now I'm sweating because goodbye, Cody Johnson. Oh, I can't believe. It. Okay. Raise a glass. Sorry, Cody, but I I can't block for you. But God, I want to. I, I, can't. I can't block for you, but I think you're like one of the greatest of all time. Period. Yeah. I want you to block what? myself, but <laughs> <laughs> if you block yourself, I think you win the game. I think that's I think that's the new rule. Like, wow. You know what? I've thought about it for 30 seconds and I'm going to block myself. That would be amazing. I <laughs> actually feel like at this moment I can make a prediction of who the two final people are going to be. Okay, well. I'm going to write it down. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see if you're right. Okay. I, I think Cody I'm going to do this too. Like, if we okay, asked Cody Johnson if he was satisfied with being a number eight performer in, in country music, he might say yes. He's okay with that, don't you think? He's a confident mm. man, but I don't think he's. First of all, he's, he's so humble. And so right. gracious that he won't mind at all. If Cody Johnson sees this, he's going to be more ticked that you knocked George Strait off the list yes. than that he didn't make the top seven. So, yeah, that's you true. Know. But you knocked George Strait off the list. Before no, Cody, that's I right, I did. It was me. <laughs> Cody is no, never going to no. you. Never. Yeah. Seven left. Seven left. Two blocks remaining I... with Corinna and Patrick. I don't want to do this. Kenny Chesney gets 120,000 people to show up for him. 120,000 people. Okay? And I'm only doing that block. because I know where I'm headed on this list. But Kenny, I just want you to know that that's a bunch of horse manure. <laughs> And Plains. I see no one Plains is blocking game. right now. I'm thinking about it. Patrick's considering. I was really quick on my blocking draw, wasn't I? I'm considering. Yeah, you really were. I really was. Listen. It's yeah, not I'm gonna... about, it's yeah. It's also, yeah, there you go. There's the block. blocking? Yeah. Kenny is saved. Kenny is it's saved. not just about who you want to save it's about who you think one of these two is going to have the audacity to eliminate next so is it like, like one of the highest grossing touring artists of, of all time yeah. yes I mean, he's of all time i don't know those statistics but i mean listen he's no joke i'm just going through the list okay oh you're you're playing so playing wrong. Playing you know what You've been blocked. How does it feel? No, I can't do anything. Yeah, no. I'm in the I'm in the do nothing seat. <laughs> All right. Yeah, your your turn is skipped, and we'll go to Patrick Thomas, host with uh, Big DM Bubba, syndicated radio show heard nationally on over 100 radio stations. Follow him on social media at Radio Patrick. What was your first so country concert, Patrick? 
What was my first country concert uh, was Reba McIntyre in the very early 90s when she used to change costumes like 10 times. And it was the most amazing thing I ever saw. It was it was a full on show. And, uh, you know, uh, that's one of the that's one of the best concert experiences still. It holds up. Mm. Um, mm. OK, seven remaining. There's only one block out there. It is yours, Patrick. So this means basically you are unblockable, my friend, who, uh -huh. who are you going to eliminate. Be oh, I'm going to make the girls angry. I'm going to make the girls angry. Carrie's gone. What? Yeah. Oh, wow. Going for Miranda. Didn't you try to eliminate Miranda in the first round? I did. I really? did. What changed? Really? Patrick? What changed? Really? It's a great show. I love Carrie's live show. Of the people left on this list, I came for Carrie. Wow. Wow. It's tough, I, I know. I'm, I'm... She's going to be entertainer of the year. She's got to be. I mean, I, she I have... does aerials while singing full octane. Mm -hmm. you know, I have a like question for Patrick. A question for you, Patrick. Did you eliminate Miranda early on knowing someone would have to burn a block? That way you could come back and eliminate... Shh, don't give away the a... secrets. Was that a full, do it. full block? I feel you. Yeah, because let me tell you right now, one of you two is going to have to eliminate Miranda at some point. And I'm gonna laugh when you do because you both tried to block that. But that's but don't give away the game gamesmanship. This is only the first episode. I, I, I thought I'm eliminating I, Miranda for the right reason. I thought <laughs> that I knew you, Patrick. <laughs> no. You did it to win. Wow. Wow. When it comes down to it. Okay. Carrie. Corinna. That hurt. That that hurts. We're moving to Corinna Liptek. Who are you going to eliminate? Whew, that's tough. That's real tough. Wow, really, really tough. I'm going with 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 apologies. I'm going to have to say goodbye, Luke Combs. Luke Combs, off the board. Given the stature of the rest of the list, mm -hmm. that's understandable. But I have, oh man. I saw Luke Combs in Mo in Orange Beach, Alabama, in the pouring down rain, and not a single person, including Luke, left that that amphitheater. Stayed there in the pouring rain for that rest of that show. But can't block you for you with the rest of the list that's still there. Sorry. You know what's really interesting is I feel like I know how Patrick is going to use his. And that terrifies me. <laughs> I will say that the remaining artists are not the five heart highest seeds. Remaining artists include Garth Brooks, Miranda Lambert, Kenny Chesney, Keith Urban, Shania Twain. Is that who you have? Yep, that's what I have. Yep, yep, oh. yep. Stephanie, we turn back to you. I am sorry. I'm very sorry, Keith Urban. Keith Urban. Okay, Keith Urban. Block. Wow! Oh, block. I'm I'm sorry. There is. I did not expect there, that. No, I'm, Keith Urban is the most dynamic, one of the most dynamic performers in the world, and that live show is great every time. I've seen six different tours. 12, 13 different shows, private shows, Keith Urban by himself in a bar, Keith Urban and his band playing at Exit Inn. Keith, it doesn't matter. Keith Urban in a hotel no, room at CRS. He's, he's he's that good. Okay. That I good. have to admit, I've never seen him in concert. Oh. <laughs> all right. What's wrong with I don't you? Get, I don't get Honestly. all the tickets to all the did, sneaky shows like you okay. do. Did he insult your favorite hockey team or something? Did he did he say something bad about your bicycle? What what personal reason do you have to take him off the list? You never I seen him. I love him. I love him. I think he's precious. Okay. I don't know him personally, but I just know where we're headed. All right. Okay. All right. All, right. all blocks off Fair. the table now. 
All right. All, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to use my block there, but I, I had to come to the mat for Keith. You got you got aggressive. Look at he's like, look at him like. <laughs> well, we are drinking in the middle of the day. This was a terrible sure. idea. He he started moving closer to the camera. I've noticed Patrick has as well. Like. <laughs> It started yeah, he was like was, from here up, and now he's right he up. Was, the... He's like, oh, I'm gonna come for you, Quail. <laughs> <laughs> he might come. All right, Patrick, you're up next. Who, who's, who's being eliminated next? Shania. Shania. There she goes. No blocks. I knew it. <laughs> Nothing against Shania. I'm just looking at, you know, I can't, I can't eliminate Miranda, and you know how I feel about the other three right now. So. Shame on you. She rode a horse on stage. Yeah, <laughs> she did. She also, uh, at the last time I saw her, got on a large uh, saddle and rode that like around the arena on a thing. But I mean, boom. You know, top five. Top five. I mean, what do y'all want? That's amazing. Okay. Corinna, I, I know Corinna. I know Shania is your your artist, your number one, like your number one icon of all time. Uh, if you true. had a block to use, would you have used it for Shania at this point in the game? Absolutely. Absolutely. Same thing. Okay. Absolutely. <clears throat> of course I would. What, what kind of a question is that? Oh, <laughs> just asking. <laughs> Corinna Liptek is a writer with Taste of Country, editor as well, previously with The Boot, ABC News, and a number of other outlets. Who was your very first country concert? Well, Patrick just eliminated her. Shania. <gasps> Oh. What tour? Feel that, Pat? Um, I don't remember, Billy. I was like eight years old. Okay, fair enough. So what was it? Maybe this was in. This would have been in like '97. It was after Come On Over. It was right after oh. Come On Over. Come on over. Which concert have you been oh. to that you are embarrassed to admit? Pop music, rock music, country music, a show that you've been to or seen, and enjoyed that might. Take away your credibility in this game. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to answer that, but I do know how to tell you which show someone might mock me for that I will now, having seen them live, defend to the death. Okay. And it is the Bare Naked Ladies. Oh, I love oh, the Bare Naked Ladies. Oh no, I would mock yeah. that. They're phenomenal. They're yeah. they're like. I saw them opening. For, were you at that show, Billy? They were opening at Bridgestone Arena for Hootie and the Blowfish, right. and uh, awesome. saw that. Show. It was it was it was a flawless opening set. The the lead singer and the drummer like switched at some point. You know, like holy cow! You know, they could they could be any of them could be playing any instrument in the room. They were phenomenal entertainers. Um, and you know, like I think BNL has like a little bit gets a little bit of a cheesy rap sometimes, and I think that's that's undeserved. So so Agreed. maybe. Someday. Did you say BNL? Uh, are you on like an like an abbreviation basis with them now, hey Patrick? Are you <laughs> all right? Um, I, rock on, girl. Yeah, but it's good as now refer to them like that. Yeah, so that's that's the band that someone might make fun of me for but i am not embarrassed of it anymore okay. although i previously yeah. might have been who that's with four artists left who are you going to eliminate oh me <clears throat> this is really tough and i don't want to do it but i am going to circle back around to keith urban there goes keith. <gasps> yeah and look i don't I, it pains me to do it. I, I, I see who who blocked him before, Patrick. I, I yes. see everything yeah. you're saying about Keith. But you blocked Shania, so now I have to... <laughs> fair. That's fair. Now you're just being... Re ret you know, now you're just taking retribution, and that's fine. I am. I am. It's a block off. The revenge elimination is still an elimination. That yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. We're down to three. This is... in that, in that war. Uh, Corinna, this is queuing up to... Actually, this is queuing up for Patrick to have the final pick here. So Stephanie will get us to two. Patrick will have the ultimate pick. That'll decide who the ultimate live performer is. You ready for this, Stephanie? Wait, I have... No. So we're down to Garth, Kenny, and Miranda? That's the three. Yeah. I feel like 
like I have to do the thing. And I don't think I should have to do the thing. <laughs> because I feel like Patrick will come to my house and a s no, I'm just kidding. You wouldn't you'd like hug me. Uh, you'd be like, yay, mad at you. Um <sighs> See I've seen Miranda. Man, oh man, oh man. Bye, Kenny. Kenny! Oh, I thought you were gonna say Miranda. Wait, can she block Kenny? Can she get rid of Kenny? I can only get rid. I can't. Oh, I don't. What do you mean? Who tried to get rid of Kenny first? I can't remember. Well, who picked me? But, but then she was blocked. She, she can't eliminate Kenny again until we're down to two. Oh, oh, so, oh are, wait, are you remaking the no, rules? That's a rule. No, those are the rules, Billy. I had forgotten. Are you serious? I had forgotten Stephanie yeah, was so picked. you can't. So you have to pick if, if Ke Stephanie, you previously picked Kenny and were blocked, right? Yeah, right. so until yes. we're down with two, you can't pick. So him. I can't do it again. So it's either Garth or Miranda. Yeah, oh man, <clears throat> that's a tough position to be in. Wow. Wow. Okay, here's the here's the situation, Miranda. You know that I have no choice in this situation right now because if I eliminate Garth, I'll be just you know I I Miranda, please understand. Please still be my friend, Miranda. I want to point out that you just eliminated the artist that you blocked me from eliminating in the beginning, and also that I picked Garth, Garth and Kenny. Kenny would be our final two people. And of course, I love you, Kenny Chesney, but Garth Brooks is the greatest live performer of all time, right now, tomorrow, yesterday, last week, five years ago. It's Garth. It's, it's yeah. not even close. Well, in the end, end of I, game. I think we got it. Victory swig. Well, I love Garth, so I'm going to swig to that too.